things get coupled together because of knowledge. Your apps are made up of objects, and objects know things about one another. They always know things about themselves. Sometimes they know stuff about other objects, and it's knowledge of other objects that binds things together. So when an object knows something outside of itself from some other objects, that's a dependency. And you know what a dependency is, right? A dependency is something that if it changes, the consequences flow down to you. Now, you cannot avoid dependencies. Objects have to collaborate, which means they have to talk to each other, which means they have to know, each, know about each other. However, there are many different ways to solve most programming problems, and it's really easy to arrange your dependencies so that things turn out badly. In order, if you want to manage dependencies, you have to understand about stability of code. So, you have to understand the relative stability of the varying parts of your app. And it, 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 there's a continuum of stability, right, that goes from wildly unstable code, code that changes all the time, all the way over on the other end of that continuum to code that uh, never changes, that almost never gets touched. And it turns out when you're trying to deal with dependencies that it doesn't actually matter about the actual stability of any piece of code. What you care about is that the things you depend on are just more stable than you are. Right? That's all that matters. And so there's situations where things that seem wildly unstable from some points of view can be perfectly stable from others. And it's just a matter of knowing that, of sorting out the relative stability. And so sometimes you're more like this. I know, who did that to that poor child? Like, you're confused. And we're confused all the time about code. I write code that confuses me. And the thing that we're confused about is how, ultimately, how relatively stable things are going to be. It's really easy to write code in the present, where you won't know until in the future whether it's going to have to change or not. And this is where we need object-oriented design. So this is object-oriented design will give you hope. It gives you hope. It, tell, it can teach you how to separate the things that are stable from the things that are unstable. And it will show you how to depend on one and hide from the other. And if you can do that, it's going to dramatically improve your code.